Hi students, in this video we are going to solve quadratic equation from the previous IBPS PO 2015 original question paper from the prelims exam. Now I'll take up this equation that is x square equal to 16. x square equal to 16. This is a very simple number. One thing you need to remember here the power is 2 that means the x value will take 2 values. Then what you get is when you solve it you will get x equal to plus or minus 4 the, because when you take the square root for the 16 you will get plus or minus 4 now moving to the next equation it is here given 2y square minus 17y plus 36 I am writing the equation as it is 2y square minus 17y plus 36 equal to 0 now you know very well in my previous video itself I have told very clearly this 2 just drop as it is now this 36 you split it accordingly uh, how you can split it you can split like 4 into 9 correct you can because 4 into 9 is 36 now what I told you is in my previous video itself I told very clearly simply this side value and this side value combine one of the one of this value and one of this value will be combined here only one va value available now what I do I simply combine this 2 and 4 that is 2 into 4 what is 2 into 4 you will get 8 and this 9 I will drop as it is now you know very well the here the symbol is minus so when I add I should get the minus 17 so here 8 and 9 when I add 17 but I will not get minus 17 so here I change the sign as minus minus so I will get minus 17 at the same time at the same time 8 into 9 what do you get 72 that is the product is 72 plus 72 here you know very well 2 and this 36 when you multiply you will get plus 72 clear so the product is plus 72 at the same time the sum of the values is minus 17 both are coming in for this minus 8 and minus 9 and at the same time you need to also remember whenever y square I have the coefficient of the y square will be divided by the coming uh, by the values so this value 8 as well as this 9 that is minus 8 and minus 9 must be divided by the coefficient of y square that is this 2 so when I divide by 2 both side what do you get you will get minus 8 by 2 what do you get you will get 4 minus 4 and at the same time you also need to remember we must change the sign so when I try change this change the sign this minus becomes plus so 8 by 2 become only positive 4 correct similarly this minus 9 by 2 first thing I will change the sign so plus 9 by 2 is nothing but plus 4.5 correct because 9 by 2 is nothing but 4.5 now here I will take the x value the x value I got as plus 4 and minus 4 so I am writing here plus 4 and then minus 4 and I know very well the y value what is the y value I found out plus 4 and plus 4.5 now I am writing here the y value plus 4 and then y value plus 4.5 both values here to, to make my comparison easy again here again I am write the value of y plus 4 and then plus 4.5 like this now I compare one by one now when I compare this plus 4 and plus 4 this plus 4 of x and plus 4 of y both are equal similarly when I compare the plus 4 of x and plus 4 of uh, 4.5 then x value is smaller that means less than now coming to this minus 4 of x and plus 4 you know very well it is less than that is x value is less than and again when you compare minus 4 and positive value of uh, 4.5 again you will get less than clear that means I, I am having symbols like less uh, equal to less than less than equal to less than less than less than that means equal to he is here and then less than symbol less than symbol less than symbol see out of this less than is common and equal I need to write like this that means my answer must be less than or equal to that is x less than or equal to y so when I compare I will get x less than or equal to y is my answer that means my option will be fifth option clear okay now we'll move on to the next equation before I move to the next uh, next uh, sum remember I am writing 2 here as it is and 36 only I will split as 4 and 9 now I'm combining I will get the answer very very easily 
but normally what we do is we will multiply 72 that is 2 into 36 you uh, you will get 72 and for that 72 you try to split when you do so normally it uh, you will tend to waste your time no need to do like that simply do like this now i'll move on to the next question see the next question again it is also the quadratic equation sum and from the previous ibps pvo prelims 2015 here i'll write the equation 8x square plus 8 18x plus 9 so uh, for my convenience i am writing that is for your convenience for your understanding i am writing here it is only 8x square let me rub it 8x square plus 18x plus 18x plus 9 equal to 0 clear this is 8 so 8x square plus 18x plus 9 equal to 0 now what I do is I will split this 8 how you can split this 8 see you can split the 8 as 4 into 2 correct you can split the 8 as 4 into 2 and then you have 9 this 9 you can split it as 3 into 3 correct now you can combine in whatever way you want clear now what I do here I will combine this with one number and I will combine this with another number so 4 into 3 what do you get 12 and then 2 into 3 what do you get 6 S see remember when I add this when I add this 12 and 6 I will get plus 18 that is a middle value similarly when you multiply 8 into 9 what do you get you will get 72 similarly when you multiply 12 into 6 what do you get you will get 72 now you know very well here positive sign is required so these values are positive clear and at the same time you need to divide the this 12 and 6 by coefficient of x square so what is the coefficient of x square 8 is here so I divide by 8 here also I divide by 8 and also you must remember to find the roots we must change the sign so this plus value becomes minus value clear minus value this 12 by 8 both are divisible by 4 so when you cancel it it is 3 times it is uh, when you cancel it it is 2 times so now that is 3 by 2 3 by 2 is nothing but minus 1.5 correct now coming to this one again I need to change the sign so plus becomes minus 1 and both values are actually divisible by what 2 so this is nothing but 3 times and this is nothing but 4 times you know very well it is nothing but 3 by 4 3 by 4 is nothing but very clearly coming 0.75 clear minus 0.75 okay now I got the roots for the x similarly I need to find the roots for the y now let me take the equation let me write the equation 4y square plus 19y plus 19y plus 21 equal to 0 here as we did earlier I will split the number here this 21 I will split as 3 and 7 clear this 4 this 4 I will split as 2 and 2 let me combine this 2 and 3 when you combine what do you get you will get 6 when you combine 2 and 7 you will get 14 so 6 and 14 clear this when I add I will get 20 but I need to get 19 that means this is not possible clear then what I do is I wanted to here both ways are 2 only so what I do is I want to change the number so to change the number I will combine both 4 and 2 as together number so when I combine the together number as 4 this 4 I will multiply with the one of the number so when I multiply with the one of the number that is 3 what do you get 4 into 3 is what you will get 12 and this 7 I will drop as it is so I will get 7 now I I know very well when you add 12 and 7 you will get 19 that is the middle number at the same time when you multiply this 12 and 7 you will get the required value what is 4 into 81 uh, you will get 84 similarly this 12 into 7 what do you get you will get 84 that means this value is correct value and you must remember uh, I need to divide by the coefficient of y square so what I do is I will simply divide by 4 here at the same time you are also divide by 4 and one more thing you need to remember to find the 
final roots we need to change the sign so I need to change this uh, sign so here I will put comfortably minus symbol here I will put comfortably minus symbol clear now this is 12 this is 4 both are divisible by 4 that means I will get 3 correct or so it is this is actually minus 3 so one of the value is minus 3 now this minus 7 by 4 is nothing but one time will go and balance 3 that means balance 3 by 4 is nothing but 0.75 so again it is minus 1.75 clear this is minus 1.75 now we need to compare x as well as y now let me write x here and also I will write the y value here now what is x value minus 1.5 minus 1.5 and minus 0 0.75 clear this is x value and y value y value I will write as usual above and below so here minus 3 and then here minus 1.75 clear similarly for this number I will write again y value minus 3 again the y value minus 1.75 clear now we need to compare so when you compare see here this minus 1.5 this minus 3 both are minus you know very well smaller minus value will be the bigger one that means minus 1.5 is more greater than the minus 3 that means this is greater x is greater similarly this minus 1.5 is actually greater than the minus 1.75 when you compare it again you will get the greater than symbol now this minus 0 .5, 0 0.75 this minus 0 0.75 is definitely greater than the minus 3 as well as this minus 1.75 so here also greater than symbol here also greater than symbol that means when I compare x values to the y values in all the places I get uniformly x greater than symbol that means my answer final answer will be greater than so my answer will be x greater than y that's it so where is my answer my answer is first option is it clear uh, see I am actually planning to upload more videos relevant to your preparation for IBPS PO 2016 and that too I am planning to solve only the previous original question papers in all the other topics like uh, I am planning to upload the data interpretation circular linear arrangements on all of the topics so stay uh, stay with the channel I will meet you in the next video take care of your preparation see you bye bye